right, so there it is, the 1990 Toyota Hiace with 64,000 miles on it in gray. Pretty color, right? Yeah. Check it out. It's in pretty decent shape. Kind of got it lit up for you a little bit tonight so you can see what the lighting looks like. Now this is a OEM, it's all stock, and it's JDM, it's right-hand drive. And I like it, I really do, it's pretty cool. Pretty good looking car, right? Got the amber lights there like most JDM vehicles. And uh, there is no hood, okay? It just drops straight down. But the engine is in there. It's a 2.0 liter rear wheel drive. And this thing has got a lot of space in it, okay? This thing is really big. It's got room. So anyways, that's what we're out here doing tonight. We're kind of checking it out a little bit. So you can see it. Pretty neat, the high ace. Open this up and look at this. Pretty cool, right? Check that out. You got up here, you got your curtains for your back windows. You know, it's got so much space. Now, the back seat is on a, on a track, and so you could actually push that forward to give yourself more cargo space, or you can do it like this to give yourself more leg room in the back back here. Check out all the space back there. I mean, that's a lot of room. Other thing that's kind of neat about it is right here, I mean, not a whole lot of third row seats have, you know, armrests. Just little things like that, which kind of make this a little bit more unique than just the average minivan. Anyways, it's got handles, it's got two ashtrays in the back, two in the middle, and then two to three more up front. So a lot of smoking can go on inside the high ace. <laughs> but anyways, this is a non-smoker vehicle, and it's in really nice condition as you're seeing right now. So it says high ace wagon, and, um, and all that. It's got 14 inch wheels, tires are in good shape. Real quickly here, let you check this out. Now you can't load people in from the driver's side, but everybody gets in right here and then hop in. And this is the view you get sitting back here. I mean, look at this. Not bad. I mean, I'm six foot one, so I can't stretch out completely, but this is pretty cool. All your AC works in the van, so I mean, everything in here works as it should. Um, little cup holders, another ashtray, magazine holders. I mean, I'm not sure what all these little things do, but I'm assuming they're for this. Of course they are. But everything works just like it should in this van, and it's super clean. Can't get over that. I mean, it's really, it's really that clean. Anyways, there's the front. That's where you're gonna be sitting at, automatic. Mileage on it is really good though. I mean, we're talking like 64,000 miles. Now it is in kilometers on the, uh, on the dash in there. So you may be wondering, you know, I mean, what kind of money, what, what cost you to buy a van like this right now in this type of condition, right? Well, probably around 99.90. That's what we got it listed for, 99.90. And, uh, you know, it's a pretty good price to be able to buy something as unique as this. As you can see, we keep some pretty unique stuff out here. Good gas mileage. Oh, yeah, tell us about it, Chris, because I'd like to know. Give it, yeah, right here. Good gas mileage. Good gas mileage on the Hayachi. No, not Hayachi. Hi Ace. <laughs> anyway, we've Banzai been to. Banzai Daniel San. Banzai Daniel You know what? Whoever buys this is Japanese. Whoever buys this gets a free bonsai tree. I love it. Just like Cobra Kai. For the Lunar Sauter Group. He, hey guys, he just he just come up with that, and he's got to live up to his word now on it. Now what? Now what is it? I mean, what made you actually decide on buying this? Would I have my Skyline? Okay. Well, it was Japanese. I had two Skylines. Because it's unique. It's almost like a Japanese hippie car. Okay, I'm liking it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's got curtains. I know, right? Curtains. Look at these seats. Watch this seat. I'm taking a photo. Watch this seat. Are you watching? Look at that. Look at those seats. Those, is, those, those remind you of like your mom's caravan? Yes. You know? And, I mean, they're nice and soft. Yeah. And I mean, and actually yeah. the colors are doing good. <laughs> Banzai! You know? how, how, many, how old is this now? I mean, we're talking maybe 30, 30 years old? 30, 31 in a couple of days. 31 yeah. years old. Look wow. at the carpet though. Yeah, I mean, this thing is in pristine condition, everybody. I love the amber. European? Yep. European and Japan. 
Um, the, 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 seat, the seats are just in ridiculous shape. The carpets are fluffy still. Uh-huh. Dash isn't cracked. Yep. The now, headliner looks good. Look at these carpets. Yeah. Look at these. Solid. Good carpets. No rust. No rust. The undercarriage is clean. Clean as can be. Yeah. I don't normally get into videos anymore because I talk kind of I talk too much. <laughs> That's but okay. I spent some time with this. This is pretty pretty cool. Now, Chris, how do you get to the motor if you really wanted to get to it? I don't know. We could find out, but probably in that center console or the section probably all comes out. It's somewhere under I, here. If I knew. Yeah, because it looks like batteries in there. Okay, batteries right there. You know what? We'll find out. We'll find out. But hold on. It's a Toyota. You never got to work on it. That, you got a good point there, Chris. Yeah. We can find out. Hey. We're going to take it for a quick spin just around the block. Let everybody check it out. And um, all right. as I continue to tell everybody, Southern Motor Company is all about selling all types of vehicles and unique vehicles. And uh, this is another one of them. I bought it because somebody else is going to have one. Right. Now, this came out of a place called Japan. Uh, Direct. Japan Direct Motors, I think, out of Irmo, is who uh, had this originally, like when it, when it got shipped mm -hmm. in. So it still has some paperwork in the glove box. Cool, yeah. Uh, shout out to them. Yep. Uh, it's neat. All right, we're going to hop in. We'll be right back. All right, let's check and, it out. Uh, and for anybody who's noticed in the video, we got a hub cap on the way, or a center cap on the way. A new, a new mirror on the way as well. New mirror, new hubcap. Yeah, yeah. You're going to be looking good. No, we're actually having a hard time finding the power mirror. I'm going to look at right-hand drive out of Canada, out of Canada. See, that's where some of my Skyline stuff came from. Um, if not, we've already located a manual mirror. I mean, right. Put the window down. Adjust your mirror. Adju yeah, no biggie. Right. Yeah, you know, there's that. But we, it, this is a, this is a heated and powered one. From I guess it's heated. Um, yeah. The left one works fine. The right one. We do have the glass. We have the assembly. Um, and you make it just buy a glass like you can here in America. Um, just, just a glass to cover. Right. Um, but we do have the unit. I think it's in the shop across the street. Um, but I just kind of left it like this until we, we've only had this thing for about a week, you know, so. Yeah, and I mean, it's. The air is cold. Yeah, AC's cold. The heat works, I'm assuming, yeah. you know. The heat works. You, you put also it. Have, now, did you show them? You, you, folks will see photos in the um, in the in the photos I took today. Uh -huh. um, in this little corner right here, yeah, is the rear heat controls. It's a whole separate area on the right hand side. Really? Yeah, it's For, just a whole separate. I haven't seen that yet, but yeah, we'll. Yeah, so I'm gonna load the photos up later on today. Okay, so, cool. Yeah, check us out. Yeah, cloth mats, uh -huh. as well as a, a whole set of rubber mats from the factory. You know, like. Rubber like weather techs for it came support. with all this stuff. Yeah, yeah it's, they're over there in the shop. So yeah, yeah. Anybody that buys this is welcome to get that. And as he said, a one a bonsai tree. I'll get bonsai tree as well. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So anyway, it is right hand drive. Let's don't forget that, everybody. You never had a right hand drive vehicle before. Yeah, the Jeep. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, I, I just drove it down the road for our other video, but this one is really cool, and um, this is so neat. It really is. It's just different. So let's listen that's, to the that's horn. The, that's, the question, that's the reason why it's different. I'm it is, different. and it, it kind of creates some excitement, or at least it does for us, and I hope it does for y'all online. How much? A Tacoma, a 1990 Tercel, all the, you know. I mean, I know I, I know I bounce back and forth between two different types of vehicles, but a 90 model Toyota, yeah. anything with 60k on it, this kind of shape is probably worth. In America, six seven grand. Right. You take it the fact it's a minivan. It's unique as a right-hand drive vehicle. You know, let me make a couple thousand. She's priced at nine hundred bucks. Boom! There you go. It when I bought it, um, and it's it's very very uh, comparably priced. To other ones online. So we've got a few for like eighty nine hundred dollars. Yeah. So, I mean, I just let's let's listen to this. That's a cool horn. It's different. And when it goes in reverse, I think. Yeah. It, can you hear that on the outside too? Like, I'm, I hear it in here, and I think you can oh, hear. No, you I can hear it. it outside too, I though. It was outside too. Yeah. Yeah, I had no idea. All right, we're in neutral, and now we're in drive. All right, guys, we'll zip around the corner. We'll be right back, Chris. Have fun. All right. Bye -bye. <laughs> All right, here we go, man. Going into 2021 20, in just a few days. And uh, yeah, we're we're inside of this super unique Toyota Hiace. Now, when you're driving right-hand drive, you really got to get used to looking over to that direction to make sure no one's coming. 
as because it seems to be a little harder to look over that way because you're so used to sitting here looking off to the left if anybody's coming but if you haven't driven a right hand drive before let me tell you folks it's not going to be that difficult okay you're going to get in the car and drive it you know your first time running a right hand drive down the road it feels different and unique but uh you'll get the hang of it you know it's not too difficult what's up man you looking good tonight brother happy new year yeah <laughs> see he's even he's like oh my god he's sitting on the wrong side of the car anyways I really do though hope everybody enjoys these uh, the videos like this with the GoPro camera. There's, they're really fun to make and uh, I'm so used to hitting the blinker over here that's the wipers. You got to get used to that as well. We're going to turn in the mix in here. This is a really cool development that uh, I've, I always come to when we're filming these types of videos. And, uh, and check this little puppy out. We gotta get a thumbnail shot, so I'm gonna use it right now. I'm using my one time only chance to get a thumbnail just real quick. Is that a good thumbnail? I hope it's a good thumbnail. <laughs> Anyways, there it is, right? Move around a little bit, get a shot. Cool area, if you're ever in North Charleston off of Rivers Avenue near Park Circle, come on over this side okay they're still working on a little bit it looks like it's under construction but believe me i'm telling you this place is open get your food your wings your burgers all that stuff real quickly you know I, I, as as many times as i've actually came over here and filmed a youtube video i've never one time gotten out and actually checked this little spot out so people are buying and renting these really cool places out over here and uh, and believe it or not folks this mixon market and mixon area is got a lot i mean a lot of uh of you know places where you can live at i mean it, well, I, if, if that makes any sense but anyways um but anyways yeah check it out i mean isn't this so cool it really is cool i mean i just love the whole little area this and that i mean it's just really neat anyways we'll definitely have to come up here one day and actually um eat some food and see how it is oh i'm liking the ss camaro that looks really tough but right now what would you pick the ss camaro or the high ace van which one come on all right yeah so that this is it though mixon market so come on over to the mix and market if you're ever in town and, and, and support some local business here because it's good to do. It's good to support local. All right. Get my seatbelt back on. Yeah, everybody's going to have to drive around me, you know, because I am I got priority, y'all, because I'm driving in a high ace. Or at least I feel like I got some priority but i probably don't if you think about it anyways oh another beautiful toyota here look i mean now look at this we're in a toyota there's a toyota 4runner i love 4runners toyota rav4 and then another japanese car the subaru but i mean look how cool this little area is here i mean just really unique you know, not a whole lot of people, Sumney Street, I like that, right? Anyways, not a, a whole lot, there's not a whole lot of people in Charleston that probably even realize this little area exists over here. Let me tell you, I didn't even realize this area existed until I started working at Southern Motor Company. I never would have thought this was over here. And again, you can see, I mean, there's a ton of spots to, uh, to rent out or purchase, but anyways, Let's stop selling the mixing area and let's get back into the car review. But man, what a cool little area over here. And again, they're in construction, but give them a, another year or two, they'll probably have this place completely done. What a beautiful oak tree. Banzai tree. Anyways. And it continues all the way down this street. Well, you know what? Let's see what this little 2.0 liter is all about. Y'all ready for this? It's rear wheel drive. Let's give it some gas. Any day now. Bye, Mixon. Here we go. 
Anyways, it's not a very powerful motor, okay? It's not like getting in your Dodge Charger and, you know, wham, you're out of there, okay? But this is all about getting in and just cruising, baby, and cruising around that Chevy Equinox. Because, man, I'm not a fan of those. Let's go. Let's see how churning it is. Whoa. It made it. Over the tracks. House suspension. Good. All right. Well, there you go, guys. We're back at our little home here, Southern Motor Company. And I'm loving it, man. What a cool, unique car dealership. People and cars. That's what it's all about. All right, guys. Thanks for watching with me tonight. The little high ace did a nice job. It really did. You want to go to our website, go to southernmotorcosc.com. Again, I'm going to repeat that for you, and you're going to see it on the screen. southernmotorcosc.com for more details about the High Ace. If you're interested in buying it, come on down and see us. And if you're interested in buying anything from us, come on down and see us. We'd love to help you. But here's the main thing. We hope you enjoyed watching the video. All right, guys. Like, comment. You got it. Subscribe.